Sports exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Dick Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. And in part by Cadillac. The best Cadillac stories are lived and shared. Share yours online with us. Yeah, it is Wright State as in Wright Brothers. 10-3 Butler over the home team. And they claim first in flight here in Dayton, of course. The folks in Kitty Hawk have a little dispute with that, but I'm not getting into that. 17,000 here at Wright State. And the only Ohio State school not named after a D state or a city. Did you know that? I did not know that. I'm, See? You know, learn something new every day. I'm surprised, though, it's not the Wright State Aviators. Instead of the Raiders. I mean, Raiders sounds better, but the Aviators. Well, they, Dayton took the Flyers, so I guess they didn't want to copy Dayton with the Aviators. I'll tell you what, they're doing, a, they're doing a lot better than Dayton this year, so. Raiders, Raiders sounds much more hard-hitting, though. More, more, much tougher to face. Much tougher? Yeah. Okay. Deshaun Wood. Uh, well, there is a game going on. Almost 20 a game. Leading score in the league. And now uh, perfect from the line in the two matchups plus. 16 out of 16 so far this year against Butler. He had uh, 30 in the second matchup, 12 in the first. Physical position on both ends of the floor is critical. You can see guys bumping. There's a lot of shoving, grabbing going on. A lot on the line here, obviously, but boy, the level of play is elevated. How about that give and go, huh? Give it down low. Chrome got it back. And the bucket, it's 12-5. Well executed offense. Quick throw inside to Drew Burleson, the senior from Wheelersburg, Ohio. Good dish from Wood. Little flex action there on the back screen. Breaking free underneath the basket, and Wood able to pick it out. Wood and Burleson both are 1,000-point scores, 500 rebound, rebound men. Crone. Let go. Hit one a moment ago, not this time. Once again, Butler getting pretty much any shot they want early. Beautiful floor spacing and execution here. Burleson down low. It's the offensive foul. Used the left arm to push the defender. We'll go the other way. A reminder, championship week on ESPN continues with two first-round Big East championship games from Madison Square Garden in New York. First at noon Eastern, Villanova and DePaul. And then it's UConn taking on Syracuse, the Big East championship presented by Aeropostale, part of Championship Week, presented by Dick Sporting Goods. And you can check it out also at ESPN360.com. Great atmosphere in, uh, in New York City for that Big East tournament. Unbelievable. Some of the performances we've seen over the years, like Jerry McNamara and Syracuse last year. Graves takes Wood all the way. No. Nope. Scramble is still in. Now out of bounds. And it's Wright State basketball. Will Graham off the bench. And in the lineup now for Wright State. Well, if you're Butler coach Todd Licklider, you like that opportunity by Graves. You talked about it, Terry. 3 of 25 from the field the last three times he's played in this building. So anything going to the basket is good. Scotty Wilson just came in. He scrambles for the offensive rebound and the putback. And it's a three-point game. Scotty Wilson flexing his muscles underneath the paint. Just took it away from Mike Green. Stole his cookies underneath the basket. You think about how important the season series was with Loyola. The next team in the standings and the sweep by Wright State. Butler split almost got beat by Loyola in the semis, but it's the reason we're here in Dayton playing this game. And what a huge advantage for the Raiders. Wood behind Duggins. Butler on the run. Crun. Crone able to run it down. This is a team that likes to set up in the half court, take some time off. There's the three-point shooter, Pete Campbell. Not this time. As you said, though, Terry, both teams will like look for early offense like right that and get it to that man. Then Sean Wood with the three-pointer. We're tied at 12. Now you get a sense of why Wright State was the number one seed in this tournament. They got down 10 early, they didn't flinch, and now they've got the crowd on their side. They've won 10 of their last 11. Butler, on the other hand, after the great start, has lost three of their last seven. Graves misfires, hauled in by Wilson. Well, this is great basketball here, Terry. 
execution on both ends of the floor. There's some serious D being played. But right now, the offense is outpacing the defense. Three ball missed by Wilson. You get the feeling, too, that Wright State had withstood the early run and the early nerves now has settled in. It seems that they've got the pacing to their liking a little bit more than the Bulldogs right now. Going with the miss, and here's Wood. He's going to walk it up this time. See Butler going man right now. Wright State does a great job of finding the mismatch. Willie Beasley came off the bench. The freshman just picked up his first foul on a reach in, which was not the best foul in the world. Well, both teams needing to get guys in early here. Trying to catch their second win. A lot of emotion early, but just what we thought of a hotly contested ball game with two physical teams with a lot of pride on the line here. To, and for Wright State, anyway, it worked an NCAA tournament. Yeah, by most accounts, they're not in. Eh? You wouldn't think so. At 22 and 9, so they've got a win tonight. Most people believe Butler's already in. They should be. There's a walking violation. Gives it back to Butler. Under 12 timeout, all tied up. Deshaun Wood, varying one from deep range. He's done it all year. They're in Dayton. Dayton, Butler, and Wright State tied up 12 all under 12 minutes in the first half. The championship game of the Horizon League. Terry Gannon, Stephen Bardo with you. And Joe Lunardi, our bracketology expert, right now at least. You look, talk about the bubble teams and their fans watching tonight cheering for Butler. Purdue, ODU, Illinois, Missouri State. And the last four out are those four at the bottom. Well, you look at those, and, and the majority of them, you see UMass, Drexel, and Old Dominion, but the other five, Big boy conferences, the big six, and rarely do you see Butler have uh, teams around the country rooting for them to knock the track, <laughs> as those schools are right now. The quote unquote favorite, better known to the two teams. A drought in the last five minutes, though, just a couple of points, and 0 for the last five for the Bulldogs. Drew Stryker off the bench now for Tom Licklider's squad. Green saying he got hit. And one eye still closed. Here comes Graves. Threw it away. Graham and the foul on A.J. Graves. So he compounded the turnover with the foul. Although they were running and couldn't have had an easy layup. So you can argue that it was a good one. No, I think it was a good one because if they get a layup in this situation, the ceiling comes off of this place and Rice State is even more energized. So not a bad foul that time by A.J. Graves. Fourth team foul on Butler. Both coaches going to their bench early in this one. Ronaldo Smith off the bench. The senior from right here in Dayton for Wright State. But Woods trying to make things happen, but look at the defense. No easy look. Wood got open in the corner, and he's feeling it right now. Three-point lead for Wright State. Remember the hot start by Butler. No more. He's got 11 already. Deshaun Woods representing for Motown, making sweet music right now for Wright State. And the hold, second foul on Todd Brown. Take a look at Deshaun Woods. Good D right there. Grace funnels it to the help, but they lose sight of him just for a second, and that's all it takes for the little big man from Detroit, Michigan. Second leading scorer in Wright State history. He had 25 in the semifinal game against Wisconsin Green Bay. And Brad Brownell says, we're just going to ride this guy all the way to the title. Well, he's a great example of why these leagues are so good. Because you've got juniors and seniors that have a chance to develop three or four years, and they come out and they're terrific basketball players at this level, and especially at this time of year. Brandon Crone, big man, steps out, knocks down a three. It's his 45th three-pointer of the year. He can shoot beyond the arc. So we're tied up at 15. Crone has really been hot finishing the last seven regular season games. Scotty Wilson uh, came off the bench with purpose in this one so far, Stephen. Straight yeah. to the hole. Scotty Wilson understands you don't get to this opportunity too many times at home 
with a chance to go to the big dance on the line. Third time they've played in the championship game, the tournament. They haven't won one yet. Turnover gives it back to Wright State. Fourth turnover for Butler so far. So Campbell, 0 for 1 beyond the arc. That's what he does. He takes a seat right now. Watch the floor spacing here for Wright State. Typically try to run Wilson in the block. But everyone else works on the perimeter, leaving those penetration alleys open for the likes of Deshaun Wood. It should work back to this man at some point in the offense. Usually does. Wood, 5'11", took a hop twice that long, and gets the roll. Deshaun is clouded, showing us the left going to the hole, showing us a, a, an arraignment. Uh, arraignment. <laughs> <laughs> Close. A variety of shots. <laughs> An array. I think it, looking for something there. Oh, <laughs> <Petka. man. laughs> and the foul on Duggins. The freshman just picked up his first. Let's check out that arraignment. <laughs> <laughs> Going through the hole. It looks like there's nowhere to go. But look at the crossover, the hop skip, and the left. <laughs> Telling Betko, you got to jump a little bit higher, big fella. Duggins first foul and the team's fifth. Tough to pick up the foul sometimes. It's the only scoreboard in America, I think, that doesn't have the score on it. It's, it's a hockey scoreboard up above. Fans have to learn to look elsewhere. Quick swing of the basketball. Betko, that's a two, but way off. Scotty Williams did a fantastic job of flying at the shooter there. Duggan's control. They'll set it up out top with Smith, the senior. One red hot. Not this time, though. No. Way off. A little quick. Yeah, it got a little happy there. Graves was all over him that time. And like a heat check. Let's see how hot he really is. And Graves has really struggled, not only in this building, but in this tournament so far. He was 0 for 9. In the semis now he's 0 for 3. They get the easy bucket inside though by Chrome. Well, AJ Graves is as tough as they come. And they list him at 6'1, Terry, but I don't think he's really 6'1. I think he's more like six feet. But if you put a, sm a smaller, quicker guard, you try to stay in his face. Get a bigger guard, it's tough to shoot over. With a hand in his face, Scotty Wilson nails the three. The transfer from Cincinnati State Community College has seven in the game off the bench. If you're Butler, though, don't you have to figure out a way to get Graves involved in the offense and get him back and get his rhythm? Oh, no question. I think right there, there it is. Pro trying to set a screen and roll, forcing the big man to step up on Graves, and he typically has better foot speed, so on cue right there, Terry, for you. Graves get, getting on track. And to his credit, even without any field goals in the semi win, good defense by Green changing the shot of Burleson. He did other things to help win the game, including go 12 for 12 at the free throw line and hit the last six down the stretch. Green with the miss and the foul underneath on the rebound. He'll go against Julian Betko. That's his first three-point lead for Wright State.